Welcome to Sydney, Australia. This is where I do most of my coaching. This is where I live full time. I'm not traveling uh, throughout Asia at all. I, I have only done a few little trips over there. I have, quite, I've ha I have had quite a few guys reach out to me and uh, ask about coaching in certain Asian countries, but I've only done a few trips over there. Um, I do the majority of my coaching here in Sydney, Australia. Uh, <laughs> Top link in the description, check out my website uh, if you want to check out 300 blog posts on game, cold approach, relationship advice, and um, I recommend if you want to learn a little bit more about myself, uh, check out uh, my book, The Disabled Casanova, it's a nice name I think, uh, check that out. But anyway, a few guys at home, there, there was a study that I discovered that I thought was quite interesting and I'm just Hopefully you guys can hear me quite well. Um, I, I read a few of your comments and a few of you guys were saying that uh, it wasn't loud enough. So hopefully this is loud enough. Hopefully, hopefully this works. But there was a, a really fascinating study I think that was related to Cold Approach that I want to talk about where there were, there were a, a lineup of men right and we had women uh, look at the men and decide who they thought were more attractive and they chose uh, attractive sort of slim guys with like a V maybe the you, you would call them more more of the tall slim swimmers physique type of guys that uh, uh, have kind of a um, not necessarily the, the pretty boy male model, but along those lines to some extent. This is what women found more attractive, okay? Keep that in mind, it's really important. The other, the, then we had a bunch of guys come in and look at the same lineup of men and, and decide or choose which men they thought uh, got laid the most because this is one of the, the metrics for the type of uh, a successful man. The, he's mating a lot, right? Just one second. Gotta hold this up. That's probably better, who knows. How about that? That's a good little spot. So, what happened was the men, when they were choosing which men they thought got laid the most and were the most successful, uh, they chose uh, men who were deemed to be massive and less uh, really intimidating big men that uh, looked like they could fight, looked like uh, they could enter any room and like a barbarian uh, just take over the room and take the girl, right? The, 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 the biggest, most intimidating men. Now, uh, this was very interesting to me. I think this is a bit of a lesson for you guys out there learning cold approach. Because one thing that I did learn from that was that the majority of the lays, unless it's Tinder of course, because girls will choose the pretty boys. The majority of the lays uh, for those good looking men or massive men uh, were arguably because this is my this is the way I read it the the larger big guys were less scared to approach girls uh, and and even though they weren't the number one choice for the women so the women might let's just say they're in a nightclub and there's a massive dude there right massive dude the biggest dude in the nightclub big scary dude Yet she's attracted to the slimmer guy who's just a little bit shorter, he's got a nice V, he works out, he does a lot of cardio. She's more attracted to him and she hopes he will come over and approach her. But she finds herself, uh, you know, being uh, put in front of this massive guy and no one wants to mess with the massive guy so he ends up getting the girl at the end of the night. She ends up just going, oh well I guess the, the good looking guy didn't want me. That's kind of my analysis of the situation. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, but when we get to that, when we think about that, 
myself, I live in Sydney, Australia. I'm not a large, imposing man. I'm about 5'8", if anything. I've had a few hip replacements. That's why I say check out my book, The Disabled Casanova. It's on the website. Go to the About page on my website. I managed to overcome whatever disadvantages I might have by having uh, what I would like to deem the term, uh, coin the term, uh, approaching power. Uh, the ability to approach under difficult circumstances even though I am not the most desirable or largest or most handsome or youngest guy that is within her age range within the room. And I think this is a good lesson for you guys at home where you can just think, okay, well, I might not be the best looking guy, um, and this is kind of the black pill mentality, but you, you do have the ability to overcome that. And that doesn't mean you become a spam bot, and that doesn't mean that you go out there and um, do kind of ridiculous game. But it does mean that over time, if you refine your game, and you are approaching consistently, and you're not being silly about it, uh, you should get success. So, this study was very interesting to see that the, le the less attractive guys that were just bigger and more imposing, they're, they were less intimidated. This is my analysis of it ag again, of course. Uh, and so therefore they had no problem approaching girls that were probably less likely to want to sleep with them and imposed their will on the system so that they could get what they want out of it. And you might not be a big, scary, ugly dude, but uh, there's still some opportunities out there with the right method. And so that's why I recommend Cold Approach. It is the hack for the majority of men out there. So. If you're curious what my solution to this, your, your, you being single, you're not getting laid lately, my solution to it is check out the website, read a few blog posts, check out my about page, check out my book, and um, if you are even more curious after that, you know, check out my courses, and check out myself, and you can go and go to the boot bootcamp page or the immersion page and sign up to do some coaching and it's in Sydney Australia that's where the coaching is cold approach coaching in a first world country we're not going we're not going to Bangkok um, and I'm not uploading videos from Asia or South America or Eastern Europe where it's easy and kind of hacking the system to try and project that I'm having more success uh, from a third world country this is Australia this is Sydney Check out the website, check out my book, and I'll see you guys in the next video.